Hey everyone, it's Joey from the Wildwood Video Archive and today I kind of have some sad news for you all. If you all recall, at one point in time, Maury's Piers used to have go-karts on uh, Mary's Landing, which they still do, on Surfside Pier underneath of the pier, and of course on Adventure Pier, which is on top, they actually used to have them underneath too. Uh, about a year ago, they decided to close the one on Surfside Pier, A, because it's right on the beach and there's a lot of flooding, and I mean, that track gets ruined pretty bad, and B, just because the other tracks are a lot better. I know a lot of you were hoping that they would bring back those go-karts. Well, today I have sad news. They're actually ripping out the track completely. I know. I actually came over here to film what's happening with the Flitzer and realized something didn't look right to me. Now, granted, I used to work here years ago, and my parking space used to be right underneath the boardwalk, right where the go-karts are. So when I went over to my spot, I realized Something didn't look right. Let me let me show you what they've done so far. They took out the bumpers, they took out the tires, and now it looks like they're starting to rip out the concrete. Now I'm not gonna go under there because you should never go on private property. I'm just gonna film from the beach itself and zoom in so you can see what I'm seeing. Plus, it looks like there's a couple bumpers and things down there. I can go ahead and film what's on the beach. So right here used to be the fencing for the go-karts, and here you can see there's no tires and it's just concrete slabs. This place, this part over here was always empty. This is my spot, it actually used to be right there. And then over there, the fencing is also gone. Here's a flitzer, by the way, so you know this is where the track used to be. Here you could see the concrete, and you could see the sand all the way over. This used to be a turn. You would cut back this way and cut all the way down there to loop around and go behind. You could tell the erosion when the water got under there that it really ripped out the sand. But you could see this is a turn. You would come straight right under here. And you see how it's curved? You would turn all the way down here and cut down that way. I know it's a little bit hard to see just because the sun is setting. Um, but there is a lot of sand under there just because a, it's been abandoned. B, once they kind of got rid of it, there's no reason for them to clean out underneath of it. Uh, but I, hey, it's smart that they're going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's kind of dangerous to sit in there. Plus, people trespass on there, which never smart. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more videos of the turn down here because there's still some of the bumper parts. And then we'll walk down the beach to show you the bumper rails on the side. You can still see the fencing back there. And you can still see the wood would have returned. But you can see the yellow poles back there. That's so when you're driving, you want to crash into them. Now here is something that will look familiar to you. This was the operator's booth. This is where he would watch you guys race, make sure you're not bumping each other because no bumping. You can see right here. Cool, right? Oh, and let me show you the other concrete work over here. This was another turn. So you would horseshoe down this way, cut over, and come through here just to turn left and go the other way around. Now you could tell that they did do some work because you can clearly see through the pier, which is kind of cool. Walk you around to the turn. And you could see the turn here, how it curves over. It curves back over that way. So you could see how it curves in. And you would go up this ramp to cut over that way. And here you could still see where the bumpers were. I would have here with the metal piece and the tires on the other side. Here you guys can see what it used to look like underneath of it. As I said before, it's very hard to see because the sun is setting. Plus, there used to be lights under there so you can actually see during the day and night. Uh, but here's a lot of concrete work that's coming out. They'll probably get grinded down. But now I want to go ahead and take you guys to the other side. Sorry, it's bright. Take it to the other side so you could see the bumper is actually taken off. See you, track. So walking down the beach on the right-hand side is Dino Beach, is where the trash facility is. And this is where, like, two of the curves of the cars would be. So my guess is that this was the left and the right side where we just saw. They just ripped these out first. Now, 
these could be used for something else. You never know, this could make its way down to Adventure Pier um, because these are still really good. And I'll be honest with you, it's rubber and metal. These could be either melted down into a different part or they can use the bumpers and save them if they ever need the pieces for down on Adventure Pier. Now, one thing I will tell you that's great about Maury's Piers is that they do a ton of recycling. Whenever there's a ride that has metal that they don't need anymore, they will go ahead and sort out the different kinds of metals and get them recycled or they'll reuse the pieces for something else somewhere. Just for example, the dog park, that um, Hydrin was actually the snake slide. If you remember the snake slide, they cut that in half and made it a Hydrin. And then um, a couple other pieces made their way down to Adventure Pier as like, you know, little, little reminders. You could sit in the car as a remember your favorite ride. Uh, one cool thing is that the original track for the Great Nor'easter, some of it got recycled. The other half is going to be made into a, maybe not a statue, but more of like a piece of art. It's actually going to be made into a dog to go at the dog park too, which is going to be great once it's done. But um, this is Maurice Pierce Recycling Facility back here. So here you can see this is where the steel goes. And what's cool is that if I pan over here, these are the tires from the go-karts. Uh, also, one more tidbit, because I know this will probably come up in the uh, comment section. Does anyone know what this was right here? Do you see how like it curves up? It's made out of concrete and metal. Any guesses? Write in the comment section. I'll tell you in the next video.